So today we'll be learning about another lecture in effective dart naming series. We should prefer a non-imperative verb phrase that is a non-declarative verb phrase for a boolean property or variable. So boolean names are often used in conditions in control flow. So you want to name that reads want a name that reads well there. For example, if window dot closable, if window dot can close. So this is adjective and this is a verb. So good names tend to start with one of a few kind of verbs, a form of to be. For example, is enabled, was shown, will fire. So these are all by far the most common Boolean variable namings. An auxiliary verb, for example, has something, can do something, for example, this can close, should consume, must save, will do, something like that. Okay. An adjective verb, for example, ignores input if, for example, if user dot ignores input or if writer dot ignores input, something like this and uh, these are rare because uh, they are usually ambiguous logged result is a bad name because it could mean whether or not the result was logged or the result was logged so it can mean either of the two things so likewise closing connection can also mean whether the connection is closing or that the connection is closing so it can be a declaration as well okay that okay i'm going to close the connection uh, so that is a confusion here. So we should try to avoid using these kind of uh, adjectives. Again, active verbs are allowed when the name can only be read as a predicate. Okay. So what separates all these verb phrases from method names is that they are not imperative. So they are not declaring anything. For example, uh this one uh, closing connection can be declarative also that i am declaring that the connection is closing it can mean a declaration as well but if i am writing has elements it is not a declarative one it says that it has elements or not okay can close so it can close that's all what separates all these verb phrases from method names is that they are not imperative a boolean name should never sound like a command to tell the object to do something again command or a declaration because accessing a property doesn't change the object if the property does modify the object in a meaningful way it should be a method so let's read some good and bad examples here so is empty rather than empty because is empty means is empty or not but empty can mean that i am declaring that it is empty or maybe i am asking whether it is empty or not similarly with elements so i am just declaring that it is with elements or i can mean it is with elements or not with elements similarly and has elements is preferable here because it means has elements or not so something like that uh, some other examples are also given here similar to that hopefully you understood the video please do like share and subscribe thank you friends